for weather ahead of us. We've got to get through today, which is already starting off kind of messy with periods of heavy rain for the morning commute already dampening those roadways. But of course, as we get into later today, New Rochelle, Stanford, Mineola, Rockaway Park, we're going to be watching the radar very, very closely for that severe weather moving in. Storms could linger tomorrow, so I'll break down the impact for tomorrow's storms as well, and I'll look ahead to next weekend coming up in the 10-day. Um, well, it's not a good boat day at all in our area. It's not going to be a good boat afternoon or evening either. We're looking at some weather coming through right now, just in the form of some moderate to heavy rainfall, not even a ton of lightning that I've seen, actually, and of course, no severe weather. This is something, the severe part, that we've got to keep an eye on for later today. But let me get you through this morning because there's enough rain out there. It's probably going to slow your morning commute down if not already about ready to grab the keys. We've got uh, Bayonne, Newark, and Maplewood, Elizabeth. Some of that rain coming on down. This is pushing to the north and east, so heads up from the city in North Bergen. Some of the heavier rain on the radar right now near Port Jervis, uh, also toward Middletown, and also into northern Jersey. That also pushing to the northeast, so from Orange County and eventually into the Hudson Valley. We'll see some of that get clipped. Uh, just light to moderate rainfall for the most part through Fairfield County, Oyster Bay, and Kings Park, and Islip. Uh, some light rainfall. So this uh, back of rain, heavier rainfall will be moving through over the next couple of hours from Long Island through the area through the morning commute. Then later today, things really ramp up. As you can see with the map and the key here, damaging wind gusts, flash flooding, but tornadoes. It's a day today that you definitely want to make sure you have a way to get warnings. That means turn the notifications on your phone. Also, our app is going to be sending out those notifications as well. So this is the batch from this morning. What's left for the midday early afternoon, spotty showers and thunderstorms. But by about dinner time, we'll be looking to the west, strong showers and thunderstorms. This is where we think we could get those damaging wind gusts, the heavy flooding rainfall coming through the city through 8, 9 p.m. And then perhaps another wave behind that. That takes us into about the midnight hour. Still some lingering storm chances as we get into tomorrow, but not on the severe side. So overall, looking at flash flooding, a very big concern, widespread wind damage uh, potential here across the area because of the coverage. And then again, that tornado risk tonight, most likely eastern Pennsylvania, Delaware Valley toward Philadelphia. On the weather, good morning. Good morning. We're seeing some rain right now. We've got more rain to go. Easily one to two inches of it coming through our area. Lots of spots could see more than that by the end of the day. And as you can see with our rain chances this week, we're not done tomorrow. We've got a couple more rounds as we, even as we head into the weekend. So in and out of some stormy conditions breaking it down for you coming up in the 10 day start a, a new life turn over a new leaf um, all right guys I want to get you caught up on today a couple things whenever we have a severe weather day you hear the words watch you hear the words warning watch means the ingredients are in place kind of think of the ingredients into uh, baking a cake they're present not coming together just yet the warning is what happens when something is in progress or imminent so when you get a tornado warning for instance that means a spotter has seen it a visual confirmation or it's uh, visible on radar potentially on radar, an indication that one is happening. So something to keep in mind as you go through the day today because we do expect severe weather. In fact, across much of the area, this is for late afternoon and evening into early tonight. You can see damaging wind gusts, a big concern. Flash flooding, definitely a concern as that rain will be coming down heavily with any of these storms. Tornadoes are possible as well, too. So a good day to make sure you have some way to get those warnings, including turning on your notifications. Our app will send out those notifications as well. So we've got a batch of rain coming through this morning. That's not the severe weather that you may be hearing out your window. Not much lightning, in fact. Then maybe some spotty showers for the afternoon. It really is around dinner time, unfortunately, prime time evening drive that we look to the west through eastern Pennsylvania, the Delaware River Valley for that severe line to start to move into our area. This is where we could see uh, some rotation, the damaging wind gusts, torrential rainfall coming through the Hudson Valley in the city through about nine o'clock or so and maybe a push, another push between 9 p.m. and midnight before things taper, uh, taper off into showers. And again, a few showers can't be rolled out heading into tomorrow. Out there right now, again, just some rain, 72 degrees, very sticky out there. Some of the heavier rain to the north and west through Orange County, uh, in and around the city as well. But again, not much lightning. This is all pushing off to the north and east, so it will be with us for the morning commute. Hi, standing. Um, not a great boat day today, obviously. We're looking at showers moving through right now. Temperatures in the 70s. It's back to muggy. That'll fuel strong showers and thunderstorms later today. We head to Lehman, Pennsylvania, where it's again by Thursday, more showers and thunderstorms. Storms, but I've got a one really, really nice day coming for you in the 10 day. I'll talk about that coming up.
It's going to be a concern for later today, so I want to start there to kind of get you thinking, okay, about dinner time toward midnight hour. That's where we expect some of the bigger storms to come on through. And it really is across the area, but especially for portions of New Jersey, Hudson Valley, into eastern of Pennsylvania. So some of the standout concerns that I have, definitely the heavy rainfall. So flash flooding, traveling will be treacherous, damaging wind gusts, of course, and that tornado risk today, once again, not zero, especially uh, north and west of the city today. But it's coming in sort of two main rounds. So we've got a round of rain this morning. This afternoon, some spray, uh, some breaks, but you may get a spotty shower or thunderstorm, but the strong th thunderstorms coming for the evening. So evening drive and later. So this one batch comes through for the morning commute and then that break for the midday, maybe some sun. It's going to be pretty muggy out. That's going to fuel these showers and storms later. So by six o'clock, looks like catching up with the Delaware River Valley, catching up with the city uh, from Poughkeepsie through Belmar by about nine o'clock or so that swings through through Bridgeport and Islip and perhaps sort of a secondary wave behind that as we get into the midnight hour. Then things should settle down a bit for the overnight before we could still see a few spotty lingering showers into tomorrow. So definitely the rain's going to slow you down. That's our concern right now. 72 degrees as we look at the Staten Island Expressway. Uh, some of that heaviest rain in and around uh, Staten Island coming through the city now. Newark right down the turnpike and then we head to the Hudson Valley. So the throughway. this is going to be moving over in just a little bit from uh, areas like Middletown and Monroe. That orange color on the radar, that's some pretty steady rainfall. Again, this batch coming through over the next couple of hours. It is later today. Definitely heads up. Have a way to get warnings. Remember that X isn't allowing those automatic uh, posts to come out anymore. So uh, have a way to get it, whether it's turning on notifications on your phone, getting the app for NBC weather. That'll get you all the notifications you need up to 78 today. And then 70 72 overnight tonight, 83 degrees tomorrow with a few spotty showers or storms. It does get less humid, so if I have to pick one day out of the next. Very wet morning. Yeah, not making the commute uh, any easier is affecting most roadways right now. Nothing severe, but steady rainfall from the city through Hudson Valley down the shore and eventually Long Island. So if you're out ready to take your baby out for a walk or like my cat Apollo, stay inside all day, not a bad thing. By 11 a.m., we start to see a little bit of a midday break, maybe a rumble of thunder, but it's strong thunderstorms this evening and tonight that has us concerned. More stormy weather too for next weekend. All the details in the 10 day if need be. And unfortunately, D.C. is one of those spots where we're not just looking at the threat for severe weather, but also that tornado risk. And that's what I've highlighted here for today. Now, when we're in that sort of pink area, that sort of gets our ears perked. But when part of our area is in the red, we are definitely paying attention here. So it's one of those days where, unfortunately, that tornado risk isn't zero. And you want to make sure you have a way to get warnings, whether it's notifications on your phone through our app. Just remember that X, formerly Twitter, is not allowing the those automated weather uh, posts to go out anymore, so they're not going to come through right away. So you want to just make sure you're paying attention, especially this evening. That's when we expect some of those stronger thunderstorms to come on through. But it's one of several risks that we're concerned about, including flash flooding, heavy, heavy rainfalls, all part of it. Of course, more widespread damaging wind threat with those storms as they come through. And I'll show you that in a second. Uh, definitely expect some travel impact. It's just plain rain slowing us down this morning, but the storms later today and that includes at Newark Airport, all our area airports, unfortunately. 70 degrees out there right now and plenty of humidity. We do have some of that heavier rain in and around Newark and Elizabeth coming through the city, uh, Brooklyn and Queens right now, but also the Hudson Valley all the way up to Kingston, the Thruway, uh, into Westchester County, Fairfield County, getting in on some of the steadier rainfall and eventually from Long Island and down the shore. That rolls off in another, say, hour or two. Spotty showers or thunderstorms possible for the midday. This is what we're considering our little bit of a break before we get to that 6 p.m. time frame, and that's when we expect some of the heavier showers and storms to start moving through into the city, 9, 10 o'clock, and then by midnight, most of the heavier storms are done. Still can't rule it out as we get into tomorrow. So today is definitely the busiest day, I think, this week for storms. 78 today, otherwise, when we're talking about temperatures, 72 over overnight tonight. Now tomorrow, 83 degrees, a spotty shower or thunderstorm is possible. That humidity is going to start to come down a bit. And so I do think that Wednesday, late Tuesday into Wednesday is actually going to be yeah, before we take a break and see what's happening uh, at the radar. Yeah, we've got some heavy rain coming through from Poughkeepsie through the city down the shore, pushing into Connecticut and the Long Island right now. Temperatures in the upper 60s and low 70s. Monroe, Connecticut, you're in the 70s right now. Rain and thunder this evening really across the entire area, but it's not our only stormy day. Breaking 
slowing down the unsettled weather pattern coming up in the 10 day. All right, guys, got to get you ready for today. Of course, we're talking showers and thunderstorms, some on the strong side, and really it is going to be this evening and into early tonight, especially. And you can see really our whole area. That area in dark red, though, especially with the gusty damaging wind threat, but also a tornado risk today. So remember that X platform isn't allowing those automated uh, posts to come out. So that includes Storm Team 4. Any warnings that are issued don't automatically go out. So you want to make sure you have the notifications on your phone turned on through our app and you'll be able to stay ahead of any of that. Uh, but it is a good day to do just that. Thankfully, this morning it is not severe weather, but it is impactful and heavy rainfall. We have it coming through the Hudson Valley right now up the throughway Newburgh to Kingston. And then as we head into Putnam County, also Danbury, Fairfield County, seeing all of the yellow and the orange there that's indicating that heavy rainfall. It's steady in and around the city from North Hempstead to Sands Point, uh, Breezy Point in Long Beach, also heavy rainfall. This is the morning issue, right? That moves on by in the next say, hour or two. We see patchy showers and thunderstorms, spotty showers and thunderstorms for the midday. That's what we'll consider our break before we really have to watch the radar. So timing wise, that gets us to about 5, 6 p.m. this evening. So think about what you have to do or is it getting the kids home from camp or you're getting uh, running out for some dinner there? That is going to be a big concern. That's where we could see the gusty damaging winds and that heightened severe rain. Risk. That continues from the Hudson Valley, Connecticut through the city through nine o'clock. Perhaps another push out of southeastern Pennsylvania that swings on through around midnight. So even into the early morning hours, we could still be dealing with some sizable strong showers and thunderstorms before another break heading into tomorrow morning. All right, it's a rough morning to be out there looking at the plaza. The winds are uh, brisk out there right now, 69 degrees with high humidity. That continues today. Temperature wise, not too bad, right? 78 degrees for the high and those winds will be blustery as we head into the evening hours. 72 degrees tonight, 83 tomorrow. Humidity will start to come down, so I think after... With Maria La Rosa looking <laughs> at the weather. And you can see where Jen is, that the rain has fallen, continues to fall in a lot of spots from the Hudson Valley through the city and Long Island right now. And speaking of Mineola, seeing some of the heaviest rain of the morning coming through, get a quick little break before our storm threat increases as we get into the evening. So I'm breaking down the severe threat and more more stormy weather by the weekend next weekend coming up in the 10 day a problem, but it really is later today that we have the threat for some severe weather. So no severe warnings, uh, not much lightning. Haven't seen that this morning with these showers, but heavy at times. And we still see it going up the throughway. We have uh, from Poughkeepsie and White Plains coming through the city and Belmar off into uh, Long Island to Nassau County, just past Hempstead, some heavy rainfall near Huntington now, North Castle, Yonkers, and another heavy batch of rain coming through the city right now. But you can see as you get toward Wayne, Summit, Mount Olive, uh, Middletown, things have calmed down at least just a little bit, but obviously that's not going to be the case as we go through the rest of the day. By the way, just want to pause for a second uh, because we continue the campaign of clear the shelters. And so this is our opportunity for Storm Team 4 to help. So get that phone up and you can scan the QR code to find more out about this sweetheart. This is Nyla and she's been at pause now for almost 400 days. She loves to play, but when she's done, she's done. So she was surrendered for being maybe a little bit um, not quite as playful when she's done. So that might be best for a, a home without kids or a, a single pet home. So she is lovely and those gorgeous green eyes, if they speak to you, definitely she is worthy of a loving home. So hopefully we can get her a home. Uh, right now in the city, of course, it's heavy rainfall, 69 degrees. We do have the showers coming through. So through the morning hours, count on that. A midday break so uh, sort of is what we're expecting before those stronger thunderstorms move in for this evening. And that that's when we are concerned with the severe threat really across the area. It's the heavy rainfall, but also damaging wind gusts and that tornado risk too. So I stop it at six o'clock as it's coming on by through the city, continuing through 9, 10 p.m. and another push coming in by about midnight. So this is going to be several hours, maybe a couple of waves within it that we are looking at strong thunderstorms. So definitely stay tuned here. We've got you covered 72 degrees overnight. Now tomorrow there could be a lingering shower or thunderstorm, but we start to feel that humidity 